Money has always ruled human lives, and in a way, it has been kind of a double-edged sword. We need it to live comfortably, but has also been a source of negative influence. The pursuit of wealth and power can lead to greed, exploitation, and inequality. And that's why it's not really surprising that a demon such as Mammon exists to remind us of human avarice. Mammon is a demon who appears in Christian and Jewish demonology. His name comes from the Aramaic language Mamona, which can be roughly translated to wealth or profit. He finds its roots in the New Testament of the Bible, where his name first appears in Jesus' Sermon on the Mount, in the book of Matthew, and again in the Gospel of Luke. Here's what it says. No man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and Mammon. It's very clear from this simple passage that Mammon is somehow portrayed as the complete antithesis of God, the evil to the good. He's a demon whose role is to make human beings deviate from the righteous path and force them to give themselves up to the vice of money and material possessions. He's an idol or false god that can tempt individuals away from true faith and values. Originally, Mammon was a term that meant material wealth, but its meaning changed a few times throughout history. For example, in the 4th century, St. Gregory, Bishop of Nyssa, mentioned that Mammon was another name for Beelzebub, which is basically another name for Satan and one of the seven deadly devils. For Francis of Rome, an Italian Catholic mystic, Mammon was one of the three demons that served under Lucifer, the other two being Belial and Asmodeus. She described him as a demon that dealt with the vice of avarice. Then the Italian theologian Thomas Aquinas metaphorically described the sin of avarice as Mammon being carried up from hell by a wolf, coming to inflame the human heart with greed. This simply meant, once again, that he believed that the demon was responsible for bringing greed and malice into the heart of humans. He's the one that pushes those who are easily manipulated and swayed to the point where they give in and let themselves be tempted by greed. Around the Middle Ages, theologians assigned seven arch demons to the seven deadly sins, and Mammon became the demon that represented the sin of greed. He was also sometimes compared with the Greek god of wealth, Plutus, and was depicted as a seductive god of riches. The identification of the name Mammon with a god of avarice likely comes from the epic poem The Fairy Queen by the English poet Edmund Spencer. He was depicted as a demon who resides in a cave filled with unimaginable treasures. He was particularly interested in gold and silver, and was portrayed as a grotesque figure with golden wings. He's also very protective of all his wealth, and guards it fiercely. He also appears in John Milton's Paradise Lost, an epic poem first published in 1667. The poem tells the story of Adam and Eve, their temptation by the devil, and their expulsion from the Garden of Eden, as described in the biblical book of Genesis. Mammon was described as a fallen angel who values earthly treasures over absolutely anything else. More recently, around the 19th and 20th century, Mammon is used to refer to the greedy capitalist movement, more specifically about the colossal wealth and power of all the banking and corporate institutions headquartered on Wall Street and their activities nationwide. If that is not the perfect dwelling place for a demon associated with money and avarice, I don't know what else it could be. After all, Mammon is seen as the personification of capitalism and the pursuit of wealth at any cost. So there you have it folks, this is it for this short video about Mammon, the demon of money. Thanks for watching, and if you have any suggestions for future videos, don't hesitate to mention them in the comments below. Also, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel to not miss the next ones.